Hello and welcome to this new short tutorial on how to install EMG UCB 3.3. Let's get started. So go to the browser and write emgu.com. On the left side you will see the link for the source code of EMG UCB as well as the release available on the source forge. If you want to build from the source code, click on the source code, you will go to the GitHub and here you will see the source code of the EMGU library. You can download it using Git or even you can download the zip file uh, and the instructions are given here how you can build using the source code. I'm not going to describe it here, rather the easiest way to install the EMGU CV is go to download open source release. On this page, you will see a direct download link for the libemgu-windesktop 3.3. If you want to download it, you can download it from here. An alternate option is to go to the files tab and emgu cv folder. Inside this folder, you will see all the versions of emgu cv. So you need to select the version that you want to install. At the moment, it is the latest version 3.3. I'll click on that. So here you will see the four versions. One is the zip file and the other is the exe file. One is for the CUDA version. If you want to use the CUDA supported version of EMG UCV, then you have to download one of these two files. If you don't need the CUDA version, then you can download the other two files, one of the other two files. One is the zip version and the other is the exe version. I usually prefer to download the exe version. So you need to click on this version to download it. Since I have already downloaded it, so I don't want to download it again. It is available in my download folder. I will double click on this exe file. Then select next. And of course you have to agree. And here you can select the path that you want to install the library. And I'll keep the path as it is. And then click next. And the then you have to hit the install to install the library. I'm not going to install it as I have already done it. I'll show the location where I have installed it. I have installed it on C and EMGU folder. So he here is the folder with the its version number. Inside this library, these are the contents that it should contain. Normally, we are more concerned about the bin folder and inside this you will see the cv.emgu.cv.world dll which contains all of the uh, classes that we would like to use in our project so we have to import this uh, important dll in our project and if you want to work with the user interface elements like image box picture box or histogram box then uh, we will use cv.ui dll i'll show you how we can configure it by creating a project in a moment. In earlier versions of EMGU CV, you might notice that there were two folders inside it, the bin folder. Those were known as x64 and x86, which contained the open CV DLLs. However, with the 3.3 uh, version of this library, they have been moved out of this bin folder and they are now located inside the libs folder. So you will see that x64 and x86, uh, uh, these are the open CV DLLs which we need to also import it into our project, depending on your operating system. So let me create a project and configure it to use this library. So go to the files, go to new and then project. Select the visual C sharp and from the templates I'm going to create a Windows Forms application. Keep the location as it is and I'll name it like config EMGU CV 3.3. I should say 3.3 and then click OK. So we need to do three things. The first is to import the EMGU CV DLLs and then the open CV DLLs. And then if we are using 64-bit operating system, then we need to change the properties 
of this project to uh, the platform to 64 bit. The first thing that I need to do is to import the EMG UC VDLLs. Right click on the references, click on add reference, then click on the browse and go to the location where you have downloaded the EMGU CV so it is in my C and here and then go to the bin folder inside this bin folder we will select cv.world.dll and click on add and then click OK this will show you this emgu.cv.world in the references folder. Another thing that I need to do is to add some existing DLLs, that is the open CV DLLs. So to do that, right click on the project, go to add existing item, go to the location where we have emgu CV, and then go to this libs folder and since I am using the 64-bit operating system I will go to x64 I don't see anything right here so to see those items I will go and all files so that I see all these files and select all of these files and click add so you will see these recently added files in my project folder I will select them one by one by pressing the control and the mouse left click I am selecting all these DLLs and from the properties window click on this copy to output folder and then select copy always and the last thing that if you are using uh, Windows 64 bit you have to do this otherwise you don't need to do this right click on the project go to properties And from the build, you have to select this platform target to x64. Then save all and close it. Now this project is ready to use EMGU CV. One more thing that I want to show you is how we can use the user interface elements. To do that, right click on it and add a tape and call it EMGU CV 3.3 tools let's say inside this tab right click on it and click on choose items this will open the choose toolbox items dialog box then click on the browse button and browse to the location of this EMGU CV go to the bin and this time select emgu.cv.uidll and click on the open button and then again click on the open button now you will see these user interface elements in the toolbox and to use them first click on the build and click on build solution so the it is successfully built now let me drag and drop this image box and read an image and display it in this image box also let me drag and drop a button and just name it like read image so double click on this read image button the first thing that we need to do is to include this emgu in our project so we will be saying emgu.cv and using emgu.cv.structures and then I'll create an image object I just call it BGR and type byte and I call it IMG input equals new input and here I'll provide a path of an image that I have on my disk 
I'll call it img slash lina dot jpg double slash. This will read the image into the img input object. And then I want to display it in the image box. So image box dot image equals img input. So let me run this application. So click on this read image. So here you go. So the library is configured and its user interface element have been used so it is successfully working. Remember that when we are using the picture box we need to convert this image into a bitmap but since this is an image box it, it directly accepts a, an image of type image so we don't need to convert it into a bitmap. I hope this video was useful for you and hope to see you in a next video.